folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our quotes. This is by Robert Brout. Remember that there's a part of life for which you are the explanation. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. You get the Dow Industrials down 235, Nasdaq off 80, S&P's off 29, gold contract up $3.30, trading at 1,222. Silver down 16 cents at $17.54 an ounce. Platinum down five bucks at 1,313 an ounce. Copper flat at 303 a pound. Light sweet crude off 38 cents at $92.42 a barrel. Bonds. The ever ready bond market, folks, is going topside with conviction once again. You get the 10 year up 14 ticks at 124.23, 30 year up uh, full point at 137.25, and King Dollar up 165 ticks at 85.32. The euro is down 34 at 127, and the yen is trading down 34 at 108.70. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we're down twenty-seven bucks, and uh, let's see. What was it? Was September twenty-fifth, right? We're at September twenty-fifth, and the bottom line is that in all of um, six hours, you just gave back uh, till July first. Dow Industrials is not a stock that's green in the Dow Industrials. Uh, down two thirty-seven. You're inside the lower range. Uh, that sets up down to the uh, 16,333, and I expect you're going to see 16,000 out of this baby, which is another 900 points down. NASDAQ Composite. Inside the Composite, what we have, same setup inside the Composite. The composite's going south. They're all going south with volume, by the way, folks. So uh, Composite right now, you got uh, down 80 bucks. We're at 4474. Now, what 4474 does is get you in the lower range, the lower range being that the last swing low out here was the 4325 area. I expect, you know, we're going to build some cars to get down there. This is, a, uh, this is a high energy move, no doubt, to the downside. And there's going to be some bouncing around in here, particularly because coming into a Friday. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Bottom line, gold uh, tested the low out here today, did it with light of all, and rejected the low. Uh, now you're up three bucks. Uh, bottom line, uh, it went into the 22nd, um, did it exactly uh, like you'd, you'd be looking for it to do. Uh, if you look at the intraday out here, it was pretty cool because what you did have is that uh, going back on the 21st, you had come down with about 5,900 contracts. You had tested that at 0310 this morning with uh, 3,900. And on the open, they only could get 1,900 contracts going. So you had a rejection there with lower price. King dollar. No, uh, bonds first, okay? We take a look at the bond market. What you have with bonds is this. Uh, the 10-year first off, you have 1.2 million contracts traded thus far. You're up 14 ticks, just about uh, almost a half a point. Um, the first place this is going to get any type of resistance at all is 125.21. And right now we're at 124.23. So that's a full point. Uh, the 30 year is up a full point right now. Excuse me, folks. The uh, 30 year is doing 332,000 contracts. We're at 137.26. I suspect the first place we're going to get any flack out of that is up at that 139.11 area. Now, King Dollar. Let's go take a look at King Dollar that no doubt has been on a tear. Uh, she had tested the highs, did it with, well, first off, she made the full expansion. Then she tested the highs and had lighter volume. So if we, we look at King Dollar, what you have is this. On the 17th of September, did the full expansion, 84.86. That 84.86, by the way, folks, was testing the swing point. It was 100% move or move. You had contract volumes of 66,000. You tested that on Tuesday, on Monday, and you did the test on 18,000. Bottom line, that's not enough. Pull back slightly, got higher, and I, what I expect you're going to see here, now King Dollar does want to take a break. Uh, that's in the shorter term. Longer term, King Dollar wants to go to 89. You know, we'll see whether this baby's going to crawl its way up to the price point of 121 again, which is going to be a total mind blower. Uh, inside some of the indices, the oil and gas sector is getting absolutely smoked. And if you want to see, you got to remember, 
uh, each and every time that uh, you are looking at downdrafts, folks, the benchmark is February 5th. Uh, February 5th is the number ExxonMobil is getting right there right now. The February 5th swing point on ExxonMobil uh, is uh, 92.31 at the high and 89 at the low. Uh, right now we're at 80, I mean 94.45. That baby wants to make its way down into that level. Um, Apple, uh, what you have with Apple, that benchmark tomorrow is going to be a big day because what you do have is this. We had an expansion of volume with Apple today. You have 84 million shares. She had the little swing low at 96.14. Um, it, it, depending on what happens tomorrow morning, we might jump that creek there. But Apple's screaming number one to get down to uh, 85. That's the first stop. On a weekly basis, however, if in fact we get this tomorrow, we haven't got it in five full weeks. Uh, if you get a close under this 100.72, that's going to be a failure. You know. It's a failure in volume already. Uh, bottom line, though, it has held price. It has held price for, this would be the three, six, yeah, this is the sixth week. Uh, but if you, if you lose it, if you lose it, lose that price, guess what? What's, what's heads up, uh, which is a total mind blow, and you can't bust them up, um, Apple's going to be in big problems. Why? Because you have a, a swing low out here that's hanging out here at $55, and we are at $98. That is one monster number. Some of the high-volume stocks, uh, and today we do have a, a volume market on the way down. This is what you have. Apple's the leader out here. In fact, let's go to the NDX 100 first. So inside the NDX 100, this is what you have. Um, taking points out of it, bringing it down, is that you get uh, Vimple Communication. That's down 30 cents. Big deal. The Biotech still, BBIB, that uh, Biogen is down 12 bucks. That's the big number. Uh, Apple's down to 347, and you have uh, NXP Semiconductor down 242. If we go back to uh, Biogen for a second, we take a look at Biogen. Uh, Biogen couldn't ha couldn't handle the highs, still in a consolidation. That's how that is set up. Uh, it, the largest weighting structure inside the uh, there she is. The largest weighting structure inside the uh, biotechs. Uh, Gilead. And what Gilead did out here today, tested its high. We got to 110.59. The high was 110.64. And you will do that. Yeah, she's gonna, oh, it's going to be close. So the last high up here had 14 million. Right now we're at 12.3. So she could do 14. If she does, that'll stay in a consolidation. She does less than that. Well, first off, she'll go down to 99 first because that's the bottom of the consolidation. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how this uh, characteristic comes in. Celgene is the, la the second largest weighting structure inside that, and Celgene is basically giving it up, uh, 270. Not the end of the world, though, for Celgene. The Dow stocks, uh, these Dow stocks are getting uh, basically toasted. You have American Express off a of buck 58. Boeing's down 128. You get Citigroup off uh, 134. That's a big number for Citigroup. Uh, Oxy is down 140. You get 3M off 212. Uh, Big Blue is down 278. Let's go over to Big Blue for a second. We take a look at Big Blue. It's not that bad. Uh, silver Market. A couple of Tigers want to take a look at the Silver Market. Let's go SIZ4. Inside the Silver Market, what you have is this. Okay, so come on, baby. Get up here. So silver, uh, we get down to a price point of 1727 today, and it rejected lower price. Um, so silver's got, silver has a long way to go, meaning it has a lot of work to do, but it did reject the, the bottom out here, did it with lighter volume, so that would be saying that silver can run to 1870. What it has to do, however, is break inside of 1870 to get to higher price. But uh, the, thus far, uh, that, that setup is there. Uh, what has happened and what did happen inside that silver market is that that baby broke out bottoms in an, uh, an extraordinary way. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now down 230. NASDAQ off 78. S&Ps are off uh, 28. Gold is up 280. Silver is down 16. We're going to be right back.